Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a vlog from a recent camping trip that we took and then I'm also going to share with you guys just some of the prep that I did to prepare for it. I'm also going to have a list of my camping, what we packed and everything in the description so you can check that out, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. With every time we've gone camping, I've learned how to prep a little bit better and each time you forget something, realize you would have left one thing behind and brought something else. So there was definitely a few things I missed, but I'm going to share with you guys what I packed. So right here I'm starting with my hygiene kit. I brought some underarm wipes, I got those from Target, and then I think those are Pacifica. I had some dry shampoo, some deodorant, I have some sunscreen of course, lip balm, and some hygiene wipes. So the wipes and the deodorant and the dry shampoo, those are amazing. I definitely highly recommend those especially since sometimes when you camp there isn't even a shower so just something to cleanse yourself off and make yourself feel a little less gross For me, it's really important to pack lots of layers when I go camping. I don't do a lot of winter camping, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't grow up camping, and so as I've started to experiment with camping more, we've been doing camping in warmer months, but still it gets cold, it can get cold at night. So packing lots of layers is important. I personally like to pack lots of things I can mix and match because I end up wearing a variation of the same outfit the entire time. I also like to make sure to keep some cozy pieces like a beanie, some warm socks, and some lined leggings are really great for nighttime, and then I also brought a onesie. And I did layer, and I was very cozy, and I slept really well. And so, again, that's kind of the key, is that you can have a good night's sleep in a tent, but I feel like if you are warm, it's a lot better. Okay, so I also brought some sweats. Again, as the sun goes down, it can get pretty cold when you're chilling by the fire. So when I'm packing clothes for camping, I try to pack sweatpants, sweatshirts, leggings, anything that I can layer to keep me warm. But in the daytime, it was so nice and warm, so I made sure to pack some shorts, a bathing suit because we we're by a river, and just a cover-up or a kimono. Also, I usually set out the outfit that I'm gonna wear on the way down there, and I do the same. I just like to layer. Usually when we go on a road trip, we leave early in the morning, and then it's warm in the middle of the day, and then by the time we set up camp, it's nighttime, it gets chilly again, so I pack a short sleeve shirt, a long sleeve shirt, and a sweater. I brought a hat with me as well because when you're not showering, you're obviously not washing your hair. Dry shampoo can help, but just throwing on a hat is really nice. So I kind of tried to follow the same set of rules when packing for my boys. And if you're bringing kids camping, it can be challenging in a tent, but packing layers is the key. So I had shorts, I had pants, sweaters, beanies, warm booties, anything I could think that I could layer in case they are cold and uncomfortable. And so I tried to fit everything in one bag. And then I packed jackets. I got this onesie off of Amazon. My son ended up wearing this one of the nights and he was so nice and cozy he didn't move the entire night. He slept like, well, like a baby. And then I brought some jackets for my four-year-old as well. And then layers, pajamas, water shoes are really nice if you're gonna be camping on a lake or um, by a river. I learned from the last time we went camping to pack more blankets and layers than you could imagine because we were all freezing the last time. So that's what I did this time. We have emergency kits in our car, but I also pack an emergency bag of medications and different things like that. Asthma medicine, Benadryl, there's lots of bees when you camp, Tylenol, anything you think you might need in terms of medication. And then for my baby, I made sure to pack finger foods, um, these wipes I get at Target. If you don't have access to soap and water, they can clean out your sippy cups without needing soap and water. So you just let it air dry and they're clean. So we have sippy cups. Plenty of wipes, diapers for however long you're going to be there, puree, uh, so I made sure to pack all of that. And then we have all, all of our junky snacks, of course, for the road trip. I'll be honest, this trip creeped up on us really fast, and I didn't get a chance to go get all the healthy snacks and things that I usually like to have, but you can also bring fruit and things like that. Coffee and tea is a must, although I forgot the coffee maker, the little French press, so we ended up having to borrow one from our family members. And we brought our dogs, so just anything you would need for your dog, dog bowls, dog food, dog leads, pooper scooper picker upper because you know you have to pick up after your animals and leashes and all that jazz for the dogs so we had a very full house and then I also packed some towels and blankets and things for when we were at the lake or by the river we are all packed and ready to go you ready Oz you ready jazz we ended up packing the food in these brute containers so all of it the pantry goodies got a camping gear Got a crate for the dogs. Come on, puppies. Time to go. Come on. Drive us to the spot, dude. Let's go. Don't get pulled over. <laughs> Go, 
That's just the cutest thing ever. Dinosaur, say, say. One dinosaur. We're making a kebab. What'd you get? Some sea dirt. Sea dirt? Yeah. Sweet. Go get some more, dude.